And then I got to look at my course because who the heck is teaching this? Can she manage and also teach the literature courses? It seems like a pretty big deal. Okay, send me. She's up to the task. <laughs> it's, it's after school. Today's bill has been generated, minus $8,000. We're gonna need to sell more, more meat and two veg, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Set your new research. I did, it's algebra. It's, it's my junior science class. <clears throat> it's pre-class, look at this, the money's coming in. They have to pay me 60 bucks a day just to show up. Feels bad, man, showing up for school at 7.24 a.m. Sounds like the vitamin C song. As we go on, we remember all the times we had together. As our lives change from mine. Sorry. Um, open department map. Am I the only person here who doesn't know what that means? Are you not my department map? It's the third icon on the left. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ensure management office manages at least one classroom in the department map. Yeah, okay. Manage department number one. You should... Manage... Teach... Teach better? Yeah, I have to drag you under you like that? Okay, it's a Gantt chart. I th you, you think I haven't taken a project management class? I understand how these organizational hierarchies work. Well done. You can now continue to expand the school. It's not a Gantt chart? Well, listen, I didn't get a 100 in the class, okay? I think I did get like a 97, but so did almost everybody else. Half of the week is over now. We must keep a close eye on every classroom's aspiration progress in the course scheduler. New job applications have arrived. How we do it? 15 estimated passes. That's fantastic. I got no complaints. Hump day. Is, like, is your ass just not doing well at the research here? How long is this? It's, it's taking too long, brother. It's taking too long. This is only 9.30 a.m. Miss Lynn gets even better. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna confirm that, and then we're actually gonna go here for a second. Hang on, I, I can figure this out. The teacher button. We should make Anna Hill into a better teacher. Because she's actually teaching now. Training, zero of one. New teacher proficiency, Anna Hill. Sender. That just cost me $1,200? Holy cow, we're making ducats, man. I'm in project management right now, and 80% of the class uses chat GPT on every single prompt. Uh, that's because they're software engineers like no disrespect i know that like because i always see the posts on twitter that are like look at how good the conversational uh dialogue is with chat gpt you can sniff right now i'm not saying forever right now you can sniff ai generated text 100 miles away if you have any kind of like literary sensibilities around you that's all i'm saying I see it on Twitter all the time. I see someone with like a, a, they always have a blue check and they always reply to like every viral video with like some kind of essay. And I'm like, you're a damn robot, man. 
Chat GPT be like, women are my favorite guy. So true. And I'll just call this chatter dumb. I'm out. I, I didn't call them dumb. I said 80% of their classmates are... I wouldn't say dumb. Maybe it's if you're using chat GPT and you're still doing okay in your courses. I guess, like, if your only goal is to do well in your courses, then you would consider yourself smart. Notice how I didn't take a stand on that one. <laughs> This sounds right to me. Politician arc. Dun, 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 dun. Class is pointless anyway. Yeah, it was sometimes kind of fun though. Project management class was really good for me because we had a great professor. After a few days of hard work, the teachers have asked for a break room so they can rest and recharge their work energy. That seems fair. Click research. No, you don't understand. I got 1.6 days left in my... Okay, fine. The staff break room can help alleviate problems. Understandable. Would you be using ChatGPT in a management class right now? I mean, if I was 19 and I thought I was smarter than the project management class, then I might use ChatGPT so I had more time to do stuff that was fulfilling to me at that time, like play Honkai Star Rail. As like a as a thirty four year old, no, because like I have options, right? Like I would only be taking the class if the class was on a path that helped me eventually get to a goal that I found fulfilling as an adult. So like, for for it, it I saw it all the time when I was taking night classes. But you would see like adults show up for night class and then just like immediately load up YouTube on their laptop and just watch YouTube the whole time while the teacher was talking. And I was like, brother, you spent like $550 of your own money here. And then you came to the class for three hours and just sat in the lecture hall and didn't pay attention. Like, what are you doing? You're just, you're just wasting your one life on planet Earth. When you're like 19, I get it. Well, you're like, you know, 25 and you're already working in like another career. That's crazy. They just want the piece of paper? Well, I don't know. Just pay attention then. <laughs> it's not... I don't know. I feel like if you're like an air conditioner repairman and you're like, I want to pivot careers, I'm going to become like a software engineer. But then as soon as you go to your software engineering classes, you're like, this is boring as hell. Wouldn't you be better served finding the arbitrage from just running your own business as an air conditioner repairman? Like stop working as a contractor under somebody else and get like a loan from the bank and buy a van and, you know, take out a Facebook ad or something like that and then go into business for yourself instead of going to, I'm going to pivot and become a software engineer, but my heart's not in it. That is true though, project management class. I, although I had a fun time in project management class, the average project management module was like, um, Susan from HR has input on your software project. The input doesn't make sense to you as an engineer. How do you respond? And then like half of the class was like, I tell Susan to know her role within the organization as a human resource specialist and let me do my job. And you're like, that's why we, uh, we all have to take the class because of you, buddy. If it wasn't for you, you could do like a 10 minute oral exam where they just have a conversation and you would be, you would be like, well, I would say that's an interesting idea, Susan. And I would make her feel like her concerns were heard while simultaneously uh, sending like a little nonverbal signal to the rest of my team to let them know, don't worry, we're never gonna implement this shit at all. Just make her feel like she's part of the process, right? And they would be like, okay, you don't need to take the course. It's that simple. Hang on, I have to build and keep a staff room, a staff break room occupied here. Hey, Talia, if I have to, um, if I have to research, if I have to hire another researcher, do I need another research desk? I'm gonna say that my answer is yes. Which means we need to click build, which means we need to get research desk. 
place it right there. Build. Recruit. Research is, I'd like it to be right there. That seems fine to me. That seems, Dennis Adams, you have just become a Guangdong tiger. You will now be assigned to work here. How do I, <laughs> so, ma no mem researcher zero of two, excuse me? There you go. We, I guess we could hire one more if we wanted to. Whatever, it's not like we're gonna go broke. <laughs> management status, 10 of six. Your research room management is abnormal. Okay, Melissa, can you step into my office briefly? Assign to fired? <laughs> can I assign you to be, to be fired? She needs to go. Chad, she needs to go. Why fire her? Because I can't... We, we got an abnormal amount of management here. The management status of the research room is overloaded. Whatever, everybody's overloaded these days. Just send it. Maybe it's fine. Give me the controller. I need to start playing phone games, man. Actually, now that I think of it, a lot of phone games are like this too. Open up your crafting menu. You're going to use some of the cobalt and some of the steel that you received earlier to craft a... You already tried? Try what? Super Auto Pets? Yesterday my brain was bad. Today my brain is good. It, I'm being sincere with you. I, yesterday something broke within me. Some students are secretly playing a video game. Wait, you got four idols? Anna, get in there. Plus two, plus one. They're, they're learning so well. Oh, excuse me, there's a dog on campus. The cat is so cute, should we keep it? Yes, please give it a name. That's Tomo. <laughs> staff break room. The staff break room can help alleviate fatigue and reduce stress. Now, if you'll do me a favor here, three minimum wage um, art teachers. Could you guys do me a favor and invent the concept of algebra right now? Because we really need that so our students can pass their ninth grade mathematics exam. Where's the break room gonna be? I don't really know how to construct like a building, but I would say for me personally, a break room, a staff break room. That, I would call that lifestyle, yeah. It needs to be, I saw the minimum and then I lost the minimum. Is 15 good? It needed to be 18, I'm glad we went a little higher. Let's put the break room right here. You need a bench, sorry, a sofa. Have you ever been in the teacher's break room? I was gonna say no, but like obviously I've been in the teacher's break room in the school that I worked at in South Korea, but it was not really like a break room. It was like 22 PCs with CRT monitors all wedged together. Like, I mean, that's where we ate our lunch, but it, there was no relaxing being done there. I've never been in like a North American teacher's break room. I smoked pot in the teacher's break room. No, you didn't. I smoked weed with Johnny Hopkins. No, you didn't. Me and Sloan Kettering were blazing that shit all day. But you know what? Teachers work hard have two incandescent light bulbs. All right, everybody's chilling, right? It's a good day. What's wrong with you? 
Class sure is a drag. When can I go play? Student is acting up. They won't learn from the course and their behavior will affect others around them. All right, get reprimanded. Hi, headmaster. <laughs> you have been reprimanded. You have selected power drive. Well, I'd say things are running pretty well. What is this, day three? I don't think we're making it to the exams, man. <laughs> it's like four weeks away. We're not even through our first week yet. Did you ever have to tell off your students? What do you mean by tell off? Like, I'm the adult in the situation. I had to discipline some students or, like, you know, reprimand them or threaten to call their teacher or call their parents or whatever. Send them to the principal's office, but... I will say, like, as a kid, school is, like, your life. I don't mean, like, academics are all you care about, but I mean, like, school is, like, your job. It is your social gathering place. It's everything, right? And then after school is fun and games too. But like that's your... Everything happens in school. So I get that it feels serious to a kid. But it was so annoying as a teacher to just be like trying to teach English to eight-year-olds. And they're like acting up in class. And then like making it out as if like I'm their biggest enemy. I'm like, I'm not your biggest enemy. I'm literally just trying to teach you English for 40 minutes. And then like never see you again until next Tuesday. Like if you could just... Relax for 40 minutes, do the worksheet, and stop trying to make us like ops for no reason. I don't get... You, you, like the kid would like cut up in class, and then you'd be like, if you're going to cut up in class again, I'm going to send you to the principal's office. Then they cut up in class again a minute later, and you're like, go to the principal's office, and then they start crying. And you're like... The hell? What did you think was going to happen? Like, there's no... It's completely preventable. What does cut up mean? You know, they're talking back, giving you sass, not following the rules, trying to entertain their classmates instead of do the work, the regimented work that's supposed to turn them into a good societal drone. Goofing off, you know what it's like. Where are those kids now? I don't know, they're probably like productive members of the society. That was like... 11 years, I had to check the calendar to see the year. <laughs> it was like, that was 12 years ago, man. Some of those kids are like 26 now. They're your age, that's crazy. What's wrong with the bathroom? It's dirty. Okay, well, I don't know, research a fucking like plunger or something. I can't help but notice the game's a little sexist. Like, why is the girl's bathroom clean but the boy's bathroom is dirty? That doesn't seem like gender equality to me. You know why? Listen, I don't know if this is true. I'm trying hard to beat the casual misogyny allegations, okay? I have always heard, and by heard I mean read on Reddit, that the girl's bathroom is like a fucking biohazard situation. I'm not saying the boy's bathroom is clean, because it's not. But I've always heard that, like, the true nightmares happen in the girls' bathroom. They'd throw TP on top of the shit like a, pyra like a pyramid? <laughs> what? I will say, okay? I do, we're going back a few years here. Um, well, like a decade plus. But when I was in university, okay? I lived with... A bunch of guys, one girl, but she was basically one of the lads, right? Our bathroom, there's seven fucking dudes in it. It was not clean. There's seven toothbrushes, seven different kinds of toothpaste, four different flosses, 12 different body washes, caffeinated, shampoo, all-in-one, conditioner, moisturizer, etc., etc. Anyway, but our bathroom was like, it was cluttered, but it was not like dirty. But then in university, I'd go over to like my girlfriend's apartment and it's just, they got like, the, the sink has like 15 different soaps on it and only like half of them have the lid closed. The rest of them look like, 
like the spout exploded in some kind of like pink liquid and then one of them's like blue and then here's a silver liquid and it smells like a, a hair salon and then you look at the bathtub and there's like another 15 bottles in the bathtub. You're like, how many different conditioners do you need? And like, why aren't you closing the damn lid? And then like the drain is all clogged with hair and stuff. I think by and large, on average, amortized out over the place, the space of an entire house, a, a single woman will tend on average to be tidier than a single man. But I do think that the bathroom is like, I don't know, maybe men have like an advantage there because we tend to use less product, at least if you're a millennial or a boomer. I'm just saying. We have a huge advantage. Okay, brother, give yourself some credit. Like, life's hard for us too, I'm saying. <laughs> Ooh. Build cleaning supplies. Build. Furniture. Cleaning. All right. Build. Facility. Build furniture. Build buildings. Talia? Furniture, all, cleaning. Oh, you need to be in all, my mistake. Should probably be in a position where you can clean the bathroom. Listen, <laughs> that one corner just We'll put like a garbage can there or something. For a better view of the various facilities, use the view feature. All right. Done. Say no more. Junior science class. I know I had a male roommate that would shave his beard and leave the hair all over the sink. Yeah, oh, I mean, that was me for a while as well. It's pretty gross. I'm not going to deny it. But I was like 17, 18 years old, you know? You just figure thing out, things out as you go. Then one of your roommates goes like, hey, dude, can you clean the beard hair out of the sink? It's fucking gross. And then you go, oh, that makes sense. And you never do it again. <laughs> I will say too, I want to protect myself. My wife is cleaner than me without a doubt. And her bathroom is cleaner than mine. And she's got like more products than I have, so it should be hard for her to keep it clean, but she does a better job of it than I do. But sometimes, you know, it'd be like, hey, there's a party happening at girl's house tonight. Bring, uh, bring your whole house over. We bring our whole house over. We go to the bathroom, and I'm like, you live like this? Kitchen, spotless. Bedroom, spotless. Bed made. Fucking cushions on the couch, doilies on the table, placemats and stuff like that. They don't put the pizza box in the fridge. They take the slices of pizza out, put them in Tupperwares, put the Tupperware in the fridge so it's structured all nicely. Then you open up the bathroom and it's like a, a Pantene Pro-V factory exploded in there. Anyway, I'm going to continue my research. According to my research... I'm going to research school reform. <laughs> I'm going to research playground. You have selected power drive. Two more days until the exams. How are the students doing? Uh, they're fucking crushing it, dude. They're killing it. That's so true. A woman's bathroom. <laughs> it's, now I'm like, it's too, it's too misogynist. I can't say it. A, a girl's bathroom is kind of like uh, Oppenheimer meets Barbie. I didn't say it. Chad said it. I simply plus two'd it. Teachers cannot work in multiple management positions at the same time, but they can also be a teaching teacher. So remember to recruit or adjust the teacher when the position is increased. <laughs> 
I like your funny words, Magic Man. Hey, certificate obtained? <laughs> Never mind, it's not that important, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I don't read that fast, I guess. Oh, man. Playground provides entertainment for all. So true. Let me take my kid to the playground doing pull-ups on the jungle gym while I wait for them to get bored. I guess we'll, we'll research some school reform. One department is under excessive stress. New student applications will only be sent in the first three days. You can use the last two days to focus on teaching. There's a lot going on here, man. How many pull-ups can you do? I don't want to answer the question because only skinny motherfuckers be asking you how many pull-ups you can do. You never see a dude who weighs like 120 pounds. It's like, hey, what's your one rep max on squats? They're always like, hey, did you know I could do 72 push-ups in one single set? And I'm like, of course you can, brother. You weigh what I did in the seventh grade. And what's your deadlift? Uh, oh, I'm, listen, I'm not a deadlifter, but I'd say if I do approximate, it's probably like 500 pounds because I go rock climbing a lot, so my grip strength is really high. We can all be strong in our own way, okay? What's your Peloton wattage? Now you're talking. I only did 80 minutes today instead of 90 because I woke up a little late. Hang on. Bzz, I just got stung by lightning. But in that last... Uh, in that last 20 minute ride, I think my average wattage was 229. I set, a, I set a 20 minute PB after setting a 20 minute PB a month ago. Please click on the yellow speech bubble. He he, slacking off is the best. No one's around to say anything. Beep. Get reprimanded, Dennis. I'll head back to work right away, you piece of junk. He's only been working for three days, dude. Secretly gaming. All right, Dennis, your punishment is you have to reprimand these kids for gaming. Ma Meng has three demerits. You can now expel them. <laughs> I mean, three demerits in three days is pretty bad, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna expel them for that. Like that seems crazy. I need their uh, congratulations points for passing the exam. Thirteen of fifteen students are expected to pass. What the hell happened? Who are you? It says 15 of 15 are expected to pass. Holy cow, Walter White is crushing it. All kids know how to do these days is go to school, play game, get reprimand, eat hot chip. So true. Put your textbook away, Walter. Kid named Walter. <laughs> Eat meat and veg combo. <laughs> the weekly exam is today. After school, the students will head to the exam venue. We still have the whole day. What is this researcher doing in class? Get back to the knowledge mines, brother. We're trying to research school reform one here. Mr. Beast is suing his delivery partner for those whack-ass Mr. Beast burgers. That's so funny. Like, just not the lawsuit, I'm sure that's very stressful, but just the, the way you phrased it. I never had the Mr. Beast burger. All that shit to me seems like a 2020 fever dream, where we all went like a little bit fucking insane. Um, good on Anna Hill, she received a rudimentary management certificate. But like, isn't the thing with Mr. Beast Burger is that the reason that it was able to be offered in every major city worldwide was because of the fact that they all operated out of ghost kitchens that were in restaurants where the restaurant didn't really have customers because of the fact that it was like COVID lockdowns, right? So isn't every Mr. Beast Burger going to be different? 
Like I get the fact that there's a standardized procedure and recipe and to some extent the ingredients and stuff like that, but I, I just never really felt compelled to get a Mr. Beast Burger because I was like, the Mr. Beast Burger in Los Angeles is going to be different than the Mr. Beast Burger in Vancouver. So like, if I'm going to eat some crappy food, I don't want to do it from a ghost kitchen situation because as soon as I bring it up on stream, they're gonna, people are going to be like, well, my Mr. Beast Burger was really good. And I'll be like, where do you live? And they're like, Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm like, well, I don't know, maybe they're using a Five Guys ghost kitchen in Charlotte, North Carolina, but here they're using like a Burger King or something. I don't know. Mine was emitting green smoke. You didn't get the Mr. Beast Burger. That's, that's a crazy humble gear. It's usually Red Robin. I mean, I think back on a lot of stuff in 2020, 2021, and I'm like, we went fucking crazy, man. I mean, it's... Get reprimanded. I don't even know what you did. Get reprimanded. It's completely understandable that society lost their mind, but like... You know, I look back, I'm like, I was crazy. Why did I get so into the efficient market hypothesis? I guess you got nothing else to do. <laughs> Ghost kitchens popped off. Real estate went up 35% in like a single year. The stock market went down 30% and then went up 150% in like eight months and stuff like that. Of course, it's going to mess with people's minds. Can you add stairs, please? I'm one exam away from pivoting to another game, okay? So I'm not adding, <laughs> not adding stairs. I do it. People in chat are saying the same. They're saying, I, I bet real money on football games played by computers. See, like we've kind of lost our mind a little bit. Now, if you're still doing that in 2023, like I hope that that's authentic to your personality and that's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But if you did that in 2020 or 2021, I forgive you without judgment because we all needed like a, a pat on the shoulder back then or a pat on the back. Jimmy Fallon was uh, hawking NFTs on his damn NBC show. I made $400 gambling on professional tag. <laughs> so, it, was fucking, it was a weird time. I think we're still digesting the insanity that we all went through. Tomo, you gotta get out of the cords, man. It's, it, brother, it's, it's been three hours of, of rubbing up against the cords. Listen, let me, let me at least put you on screen for a second here. Hello. Okay, that's good, thank you, thank you. Thank you for letting me pick you up. Now get out of the cords. This way, come this way. This way, come this way, come this way. Put a cat deterrent in the cords. I suggest a dog or possibly a claymore. <laughs> That's funny. I was petting you with my left hand on the left side of my chair, and now you went back to the right side, like into the cords. What's wrong with you? I mean, I love you. I love you, cat. I ain't ever gonna stop loving you, cat. You can now establish rela relations with other schools. Me, when I am the headmaster of Bill Clinton Elementary School, I did not establish relations with that school. You know what I'm talking about here? Anybody alive the same length of time on Earth as me? Dispatch map, there's a vast world outside of school. You can use field trips to take students and teachers off campus to scout a particular location. During a field trip, you may encounter a variety of challenging events. You must utilize the power of the group to solve the problem. Venturing out in the world will help you maintain a novel attitude. Japanese games will always introduce like one more menu system and then be like, tip, maintaining an open mind is key to having a contented life. I'm like, brother, what the hell are you talking about? I'm just trying to build mechs. Let's scout out the nearest location. You can send class one there, but please don't miss your exam. Are you a fan of escape rooms? Yeah, I haven't done one in a long time. 
maybe like four or five years. But I, I very much enjoy escape rooms. Because I feel like a well-designed escape room it's like, an, uh, like a Dungeons & Dragons party. Like, there's usually at least one to two puzzles that your own unique strengths and weaknesses will apply for. Like, whenever we would go to an escape room, sometimes there would be, like, um, you know, a visual puzzle you have to do. Like, I remember there was one where there, you had to put, like, a, a samurai's armor on appropriately. And then the shadow from the armor would, like, reveal something. I needed Kate to solve that one, like, 100%. But then, probably, like, 8 to 10 times in every escape room, they will just give you, like, 5 to 10 numbers, and you have to add them together. And then they're, like, people sometimes, they go, oh, I don't know, how do I, what's, what's 11 plus 17 plus 30? And I'm, like, 58. And they're, like, holy cow, I'm glad we brought this guy along. And not just because he paid. And I'm like, yes! I was useful! And then when you go to the debrief, people were like, oh, wow, great job, person A. I never would have figured out that you had to put the handcuffs on the skeleton in order to get his mouth to open up and the key to get spat out. And I'm like, yeah, good job me for adding those four two-digit numbers together without like a pen and a piece of paper so that we could figure out the numeric code to put in the briefcase so that it opened up and spit out a key, right guys, right? Thank God that we had someone in the group that knew how to do 16 times 8 in their heads so we knew what the password was for the safe. Thank God we had somebody in the group who knew how to open a combination lock. 60 minutes left till the exam. Stay calm, don't panic. That goes for you, chat. Exam countdown. It's time for the exams. Students taking exam. What will happen? Let's wait and see. That's a quick one. It must have been an oral exam. I wonder how the student, students did during the exam. 15 of 15 students passed. Eight students got full marks. Total score plus 46. Holy cow. Look, full marks. Everybody wants to go to the Marina Heaven College of Marketing? What is this, like the North Korean education system? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Grades ranking? No, but we came last? Every student passed and we came last? This is like civilization, man. Final rank, A, excellent. Money reward, plus 9,000. No art, no sports, whatever. Mudford's community reputation has gone way up. Okay, well, listen. This is Let's School. Slash marker, Let's School. 